Food seems to be the one thing keeping us all smiling through our masks and staying connected. The gift of sharing food to foster these connections is a privilege that one would hope everyone has the ability to do. Unfortunately, that is not the case for people of color in the United States. Only 7% of the United States businesses, according to a recent study, were black owned before the pandemic. Yes, let that sink in, only 7%. Owning a business has its hardships, but the pandemic has exacerbated financial and racial hardships, forcing several black owned businesses to close. Some with a strike of luck, however, have managed to stay afloat here in Durham. A restaurant named Boricua Sol is one of those restaurants, and the collective magic of both the people and the food are responsible for its success. Boricua Sol is a small, Black-owned restaurant with Southern soul, Caribbean flair, and Euro-Afro roots. Boricua Sol has been recognized as one of Durham's top restaurants to visit while you're here. Various walks of life, alone or with family, travel all the way to this magical small restaurant where raw materials such as plantains and empanada fillings turn into mouth-watering foods. Here, people smile and laugh together and partake in the one thing that food always seems to do, create community. Toriano, an amicable dude from Connecticut, and Serena, a hardworking and passionate woman from the Bronx, are the owners of this magical place. They, alongside the employees of this extraordinary place, take on the difficult task of providing delicious food and warm service to all of their customers. They also have an adorable son named Devin. You can find him sitting in this very spot, doing homework or playing games. His cuteness, though, does not absolve him from also helping out in the restaurant and sharing the warmth with other customers alongside his parents. It is for him that they take so much pride in sharing their culture with the Durham community. And though taking on such an arduous task can be strenuous, they always seem to find joy in working with one another, no matter how difficult things may be. And even when it gets stressful, Serena and Toriano always find time to joke with and love each other. They have been working together on this restaurant for more than five years. And when I asked Toriano about what it was like to mix family and business, he simply responded, he wouldn't have it any other way. And that he truly enjoyed the growth that they've endured as business partners and a married couple. However, Toriano and Serena always remind me that to run a business is not just about good leadership, but an equally amazing team. Meet Jason, one of the first employees to ever work with Serena and Toriano since their days on the Soul Patrol, their food truck, back in 2015. He is a photographer, cook, and lover of people. And in between cutting plantains and helping Toriano in the kitchen, you can often find him telling a story or a joke to the other employees. Jason is always up for any task that Toriano and Serena give him. Mr. Tebow, AKA Mr. T, can also be found in the kitchen, preparing the garnishes and cooking up the meats. He too loves to spend time with other employees and share jokes. In his free time, Mr. T runs a baking business called Tony's, which he tells me is his true passion. He also helps to run the Soul Patrol, which you may sometimes spot around the Triangle and even on Duke's campus. And even this far from the restaurant, they're able to share a bit of this magic with more folks, even if some of them are too afraid to try it. Lastly, meet Richard, a New York native who has found himself all the way in Durham. A bright ball of energy, Richard is usually the person to help in the front of the house. However, because staff is so small, you can sometimes see him in the back taking care of other needs at the restaurant happily washing dishes while at work with people he truly enjoys working with. Together, this team creates food that keeps people repeatedly and excitingly returning to Boricua Sol despite the pandemic. 
Through partitional glass, Serena and Toriano have, almost effortlessly, been able to maintain old and foster new connections with the community. They still remember most of the names of their customers, exchange laughs and stories, and do wellness checks for almost everyone that comes in. And though the pandemic has posed a few changes to the layout of the restaurant and order of operations, it is evident that Serena and Toriano, along with their small team, have found the rhythm to make things work, even when it gets chaotic. Their efforts do not go unnoticed. People often thank Serena and Toriano for bringing such a unique and beautiful culture to Durham. They share tokens of their appreciation, such as letters and drawings, which Toriano and Serena decorate their restaurant with to bask in the love from the community every time they walk into the restaurant. In sharing this space with the family of Boriguasol, I can tell that though each person is remarkably different, they treat and love each other like family, which is why they work so well. Evidently, owning a Black business is much more than just selling a product. It is about demonstrating a love and appreciation for all of your distinctive employees through half hugs, meaningful talks, sharing small gifts, and working together. It is about fostering community by caring about the well-being of your customers, laughing with them and knowing their names, and in turn, having a community that values the workers as well as the work they do. And after a very long day of many, many orders and endless cooking, Serena and Toriano happily close shop, grateful for another day of doing what they love with the people they love.